guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while. I feel like I say that every time, but uh, I was in Arizona for Thanksgiving visiting with Keegan's family, and then I was in basically on the Texas, New Mexico border, visiting my mother and my sister and her family. I went down to surprise them. I did say I was going out of town for work, but because my sister watches my videos, I couldn't let her know that I was going to be there. I also parted my hair on the other side. Lucky me, I have three cowlicks, one here, one here, and on the crown of my head. So I like to switch my parts up every now and then so my hair doesn't get just like flat and broken in one spot from brushing it that way, in case you care. Today's video is a continuation in my liquid lipstick review series and today is the requested brand of the BH Cosmetics. Playing around with my eyeshadow trying to put like more depth on the inside corner. I don't know. I felt like it. I feel like a broken record. I've done so many of these. Uh, the drill is the same guys. I have exfoliated my lips with my Ava Anderson lip scrub. Then I went on to moisturize with my Kaplan MD Lip 20 Balm before I did my makeup and now I'm just going to wipe off the excess. I got this in the color Icon, which I just swatched on the back of my hand, is like this beautiful, um, really deep plum purple. All the lip liner that matches this the best that I own is Black Dahlia by OCC, and now I'm just going to line my lips. I always feel so funny when I have a dark outline with nothing in it. This is going to be a first impressions for me because I just opened this up to swatch it. Zoom in for application. This kind of smells like alcohol. It's not a disgusting smell, but it doesn't smell good either. It's a little streaky so far. Okay, it's gone on kind of streaky. Um, I'll come closer to show you. It's a very thin formula. It's not, um, I wouldn't describe this as moussey or creamy at all. See those streaks? Now I'm just gonna go on with a second coat and try to touch that up. Okay, that's as good as I'm gonna get it. It did go on a little streaky and it's not the easiest to get on. I love this color, it is beautiful. Let me just let them dry down for a minute. So this is final application. I somehow got it on my forehead. <laughs> and so you guys know the drill exactly the same as always. I'm going to give this a total of eight hours of untouched wear. I will not apply a gloss. I will not retouch this lipstick for the next eight hours. I will do my first check-in in four hours and then the last check-in in the additional four hours. At the end of this video, like always, I will do the kiss test to show if they are transfer proof and then I will try layering them to show if they've worn away in any areas if they layer well. My first check-in, I always give you guys the details, the cost, the shipping, blah, blah, blah. It's currently 10.52. I will see you guys in four hours. Hey guys, so it's three o'clock, four hours after initial application of this lipstick. As always, I will zoom in to show you the wear. I ate the last Christmas cake for lunch because apparently uh, some days I have the eating habits of a five-year-old left with no adult supervision. I also had um, uh, a chai tea latte. Um, there's really not too much on my straw. There is a little bit if you can see right there. You can see it's still streaky where it went on. These have remained fairly comfortable to wear. They are kind of dry. They're on the more dry side. If I had to compare them for the level of dryness, I would say probably that of like a lime crime. And they're also very thin and liquidy like a lime crime. I would not describe the texture as moussey at all. Now for some of the details on these. Obviously, this is by the brand BH Cosmetics. This is my first purchase from this line. I also, um, at the same time, got the Carly Bybel palette. Since someone asked me to review this, I figure I would order them both at once. I did order this online. When I searched for BH Cosmetics, um, Urban Outfitters came up, but just for their palettes, these weren't available there. So I think you can only get these from the BH Cosmetics website currently. The cost of these is $6.50, which is very affordable. 
Shipping, however, was a little odd. While this product was $6.50, the shipping was $4.95. I do think their website is a little outdated because if you look on the shipping and information tab, it actually shows that shipping in the US for standard ground, which is what I got, is $7.95. So that may uh, be a little off. Obviously, I paid less. You do get free shipping within the US with a purchase of $50 or more, but since their products are so inexpensive, I think you'd have to buy a crap ton of stuff. To Canada, the shipping is $13.95, and and the rest of international shipping is $21.95. I did not see any information about free shipping within Canada or international. They do take PayPal, which I like, and credit card. I didn't see any discount codes, so I'm not sure if they're available. Um, like I know Carly Bybell, she has her palette. She might have a discount code, I'm not quite sure. If I can find anything, I'll link it in the description box below. This is the outer box that it came in. It just says BH Liquid Lipstick by BH Cosmetics. The ingredients are on the back, which I like. Um, I, at first, I couldn't find the name because I kept looking at the bottom of the box, but it's actually on this barcode label right here. And then this is the packaging it comes in. It's just a clear tube with this little black top and a little black stripe at the top. The, um, the name is on the bottom as well as the weight. Something I did have a question about, though, on this is their website says made in the USA. This box says made in the USA, but the bottom of this label says made in PRC, which is the People's Republic of China. So I thought that was a little odd. I'm not sure if it means maybe just the sticky label or maybe just the this container, but that's highly unusual. I've never seen something that the label says made in China and they were just talking about the package. I don't know, I, I found that a little odd. Um, so if you're interested, you might want to email them for clarification. You're only getting 0.12 ounces in here, which is much on par with what you get um, in the ColourPop. I was actually petrified of these because because of the cost being similar to the ColourPop, I thought that these were going to be like ground up glass on my lips. I did order one of the recently reformulated ColourPop liquid lipsticks, so I just got a shipping notification today. So once it gets here, I am going to do a take two review on that, but that original formula will haunt my nightmares for years to come. There is a little jar with the open symbol that says the shelf life on this is 12 months after opening. I ordered this on 11-22. On 11-24, I got a shipping notification and I received this in my mailbox by the USPS on 11-30. These do ship out of North Hollywood, California. I'll show a picture of the shade selection. Currently, they're available in 10 different shades. Nothing too funky. Um, I mean, they don't have like bright blues or blacks or anything like that. I don't see that these are vegan, but it is Leaping Bunny certified and it is cruelty free, they say. The brand does claim that these are long wearing, full coverage, infused with vitamin E, smudge proof, non irritating, allergy tested, and clinically tested. The ingredients are listed on the box if I didn't say that already, which I really like. They're also listed online so you can go through and take a look at them. There's basically solvents in here, emollients, suspending agents. Uh, liquid silicone, absorbents, thickeners, emulsifiers, more silicone, slip agents, antioxidants, vitamin E, holding agents, preservatives, and pigments. Nothing in here that would cause me any concern for putting this on my face. These are dry, they're making me want to lick the corners of my lips, but again, um, nothing more so than Lime Crime. If you don't like how dry Lime Crime are, these might be too dry for you as well. That's pretty much all I have to say about these right now, guys. Um, I'm on, I have to go pick up Janine, and then I will check back with you guys in another four hours after I've eaten real food so you can really see the test of these. Hey guys, it's 7.55. It's actually a little closer to nine hours after initial application of this. I just walked in the door. Janine and I went to go see the new Mockingjay. What is, what's that movie called? Hunger Games. I don't know why, I just couldn't remember that. Uh, so I just dropped her off at home, so I'm a little overdue. I want to zoom in to show you the wear. So um, first let me tell you what I ate at the movies. I had a soda, some french fries, and popcorn. Um, you can see it's worn away right in here. Right there. These have been so so uncomfort. I mean they're not they're not painful but I wouldn't call them really comfortable. They're they are dry. 
the driest part is in the corner of my mouth here. So just like always guys, how I rank these is going to be determined on the kiss test and showing how they layer. So nothing on the back of my hand. Transfer. All on the outside there. Now let's see how these layer. Sorry if I'm lagging guys. I was up at five this morning and I've been traveling nonstop. I'm, I'm tired. Oh man. A chunk just fell off of my cream sweater. Not cool. These don't layer well. Oh, you can see um, where it was streaky before and now where it's worn away, it kind of like a rim. It's very hard to get it to be completely opaque. See in there? I'm slightly torn about how to rank these. You're getting, I mean, in my opinion, these are the best liquid lipstick in this price range. I'm going to rank these at number 17 below uh, Gerard Cosmetics Hydromat and bump everything LA Splash and down. My reasoning for that is because the Hydromats were more comfortable than this. The Hydromats did wear away fairly quickly uh, since it was similar to the color of my own lips. It was a little more difficult to tell than this. The Hydromats went on and they were not streaky. These were streaky. My LA Splash were very streaky. They were very crumbly as well and it would wear away on the inside of my teeth. If you are on a budget and you don't want to spend more than $10 per liquid lipstick, I think that these are an awesome choice. Um, again, I ordered a new ColourPop one to try, but that first formula I hated. I don't like how these are very streaky. Um, I mean, up top it's, it's worn a lot nicer, but when you're up close, you can see the streaks in there, which I don't like. It didn't layer well either, so and they are dry. And as you put on more, now I'm wanting to do this. Uh, that's like, I, that's my dry test if I'm always licking the corners of my mouth. So I hope you guys have found this review helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next time guys. Bye.